Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing a shop or drop, which is my version of Samantha March's Will I Buy It series, specifically focusing on holiday makeup. If you want to hear my thoughts about what's new on the holiday makeup market, then just keep watching. Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I fancy myself to be a product knowledge enthusiast. I love talking about all new makeup on the market and letting you guys know what I think and if it's worth it. And it's been a while since I've done a Will I Buy It and I know you guys have been asking with all the new holiday releases. I'm sorry, I've definitely dropped the ball on that, but I'm gonna try and get it rolling right now and try to be a little bit more consistent with what more comes out. Though I will say a lot of the holiday makeup I honestly feel like is almost done <laughs> coming out. And I know it sounds crazy, because it's only the end of September but this happened last year too where all of the good stuff came out in September and October and then after that it was just boring so I definitely should have got on this sooner but better late than never so I always get my photos and information from trend move there's a lot of other great accounts that I follow but I find it pretty easy to follow trend mood so we're gonna first start out with the new Tarte holiday sets I'm not a huge fan of Tarte holiday products for the most part Tarte. A great video that I saw was from Emily Noel where she reviewed the mini tartlet palettes and the blushers and the lip products I believe as well. For the most part I do find Tarte's holiday stuff to be not as good quality as their regular stuff and even in Emily Noel's videos she said that the tartlet palettes were not as good as the original so they downsized their full size tartlet palette which really was a big money maker in their company and they made like little mini versions of them some with new colors some with repeated colors and she said it wasn't the same quality. Now, I actually never jumped on the Tartlet bandwagon, so I don't even have the original, but nothing about that set really intrigues me. There is one set that really does intrigue me, and it is the Cheek set. I do think I'm going to pick that out. I still have my ones from last year, and I really enjoy them. I really like Tarte's Cheek products, and I don't need them because they're kind of the same concept as last year's, where they roll out, but you have a little set. But I use those quite a lot, surprisingly, so that's why I want some new ones this year. I'm interested in those. Everything else for the most part I'm not really interested in. Last year I didn't buy this from Tarte but from Benefit I bought a three mascara set which I thought was such a great deal and Tarte has one too but honestly I still haven't even finished that set. There's so many mascaras that came out and it's just not a good deal for me to buy three mascaras because it takes so long for me to get through them because I only use one or two mascaras at a time and they end up just sitting and drying out themselves. So as far as Tarte's set goes, the only one I'm remotely interested in is the cheek stuff. The rest of the stuff are good gifts for others, especially those who aren't as into makeup as, you know, like I am and those crazy people who watch YouTube videos. So I don't want to say, oh, don't get Tarte. Like this is a great gift for somebody who's not a super makeup hoarder, like normal people, you know, but let's be real. If you're watching this, we're not normal. Also, I don't know if you saw, but this is already available. So Fenty has their new holiday flossy glossy set and there are four brand new shades. This is $36 and I definitely plan on picking that up, but not at full price. I really love my Fenty glosses and I like to throw them in my purse. They just are so easy to apply mindlessly. So either when the Sephora VIB sale happens or when this goes on sale, because the last set that came out last year went on sale, I do plan on picking this up just because I like lose them and then I find them again in this purse, that purse, the floor of my car. So these are just great for that. So I will be purchasing that. Love the formula. Love the new colors. Do I need it? No, but I love this set every year. You guys know I'm a holiday makeup fanatic, okay? There's certain sets that I buy every year and this is going to be one of them. So this one has already come out in the last couple of weeks, but you guys know Pat McGrath, favorite band, best products. I'm a stan, but I could not justify this $75 kit. So it comes with a duo lash adhesive, which is like $7, one lipstick and some Swarovski crystals and just the stan in me wanted to get it. But honestly, when would I ever use that set? I get a lash glue, but unless I was doing a look for Instagram, I would never do this to my lips. And that's the kind of thing where if you have nice big juicy lips, it would look awesome for a photo, but I'm not working with a lot of space here so this would just not be good for me 
Especially since I already own Elsin, which is the red lipstick that is in here. I don't know, I think this is a rip off. It's a real money grab and I don't like that. Way too expensive for what it is. Humble opinion though, of course. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about this new Madison Beer collection with Morphe, which is available. It came out a couple, I'm so behind, but this came out a while ago, like last week, which is a lot in the makeup industry. I really love the look of that palette. Y'all know I like Morphe. I do. And this palette is stunning and you cannot deny it. I'm gonna pass because it's the last thing in the world that I need and I've already purchased a lot of new holiday palettes that I still haven't even tried yet and I need to work my way through. I don't wanna add this onto that. But if somebody wanted to buy me that for Christmas, I wouldn't be mad. It is a gorgeous palette with gorgeous colors. Everything else in the collection, I really don't care about. Those lip products look pretty, but I really like that palette. It's not anything that hasn't been done before, but it's a really gorgeous array and I think Morphe did a really fabulous job with that one. Y'all know I love to trash talk two faces in these videos always so they came out with a mini gingerbread spice and a salted caramel palette and all of these sets that you do not need the quality is probably not as good and i am not remotely interested in these at all there was once a time where Too faced killed holiday makeup game now i did get the new gingerbread it was oh the pumpkin spice palette i did get that and that's really pretty those are always kind of my guilty pleasure but all of this little knickknacky kind of stuff I'm not gonna say I haven't fallen for it before because I definitely have, even last year, I might have picked up a little summer or two, but every year I'm just like, no, let me show you something. I don't know how many years ago this came out, but this was back in Too Faced's like glory days. Look at this little holiday set. And then you have your little palettes. I'm a hoarder. I definitely kept these because they're adorable. Like this was when Too Faced did it right. I even have, I don't have it anymore. I have a palette that's much older than this that came out over the holidays and it is amazing. I wish I still had it. Why did I throw it away? This is why I don't like throwing away makeup because I like to mention things that came out years ago. But anyways, Too Faced has overdone their holiday stuff. They really used to do like the best job and now I just find their quality not to be as good in the holiday stuff. So I just can't get behind it. I got a lot of questions about these new Dior Glow Face palettes. Yes, I absolutely will be purchasing the gold one and the pink one. I know they did come out at Harrods, but honestly, I was just waiting for them to come to the US. I'd never ordered from Harrods before. I mean, I know they're a huge retailer. Everything probably would have been fine. Returns and all of that stuff, I just prefer it to order from the US. And these look gorgeous. I'm so excited to pick these up. Like I said, I won't get the darkest one because I don't need that one, but the pink and the gold most definitely. You guys know these are one of my favorite highlighters, if not my favorite. So yes, I will be picking that up. So when these come to the US, please let me know because they look stunning and I am so excited for these. Okay, so we do have a sneak peek for Max Holiday Collection and I do remember there was once a time where Max Holiday Collection was like the talk of the town or the beauty community and now they're not and everything I feel like looks the same. This looks the exact same to me as last year but with pink packaging. Was it silver last year? I don't know. Yeah. No, nothing is really calling out to me. Everything I buy from MAC with the exception of a few pieces usually just kind of ends up in a drawer not being used. I like the look, I'm not gonna lie, of this giant lipstick set here. I'm a big set gal and that looks really stunning, but I doubt any of that will end up being used by me at all. But that's really the only thing that's catching my eye, but it is so redundant for me to get. But how pretty does that look? I'm not gonna lie, it looks bomb.com and then of course over a week ago pat mcgrath she revealed her celestial divinity divinity <laughs> celestial divinity holiday collection and my 18 pan palette is currently on the way now the thing with this big palette as you guys know is 12 of the shades were from the star wars collection and i'll tell you in my review why i justified buying the full 18 pan palette but i'm really excited for it to make its way over to me i was a little bit disappointed i thought the whole collection was coming out but it was just a palette as far as what I intend on purchasing just the powder products I'm overwhelmed with lipsticks I have a lot I don't have all of the lipsticks featured in this collection but I do have a few and it's just every time I get like lipsticks or something it's just kind of added money that nobody really cares about in my opinion that I have to spend in my reviews I'm planning on getting all of the quads what I think is really neat about these quads it looks like they have a different mixture of textures so normally those are her blitz astral quads which I love because they are her blitz 
Glitz Astro Formula, but I do love this pat quad that you can take to travel because there are other textures like mattes and Blitz Astros. So I'm really excited about those. Those look gorgeous. And I'm gonna get the powder highlighter just because I am curious. Pat, we're still waiting on that blush palette, hunty. But no, I am really excited about this collection. I think she added a lot of different elements to her collection and I'm really, really excited for it and for the rest of the collection to release. Pat, why'd you play with my emotions like that? So let's take a look at the ABH holiday collection and I feel like ABH was once up here like two years ago and they've gone like that. I think they released too much and it felt too money grabbing for people because I'm not gonna lie their palettes great quality even during that time of 20 palettes every month. Soft Glam 2 I don't think that was their best move personally I don't know. That being said Soft Glam is a fabulous palette. Um, I know we're palleted out from ABH but I would have rather had seen a new palette come out. I really would have. And you get their normal lipstick or lip gloss set. I don't know. I hope they come out with something more because this is kind of bleh to me. And I still like ABH. I really do hope they come out with something better because holiday makeup's the time for brands to really step it up. I'm always excited to see what they came out with. And this just looks like they just threw it out there and nobody put any thought into anything. I've gotten lots of questions about the Mario collection, Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. He came out or he's coming out with a makeup line and I'm really excited. I love when a makeup artist comes out with a makeup line. Nothing against celebrities but to me I feel like it's always a little bit more special when a makeup artist comes out with a line and I've already heard good things about his palettes oh my gosh his line looks really stunning I haven't fully decided what I wanted to purchase yet by the time this video goes up I think everything would have been released by now but I am looking at getting all of the eyeshadows and there's a lot of different formulas and I don't want to overwork my bank account so with certain formulas I'm gonna only try and get like one of of, but it looks like it's a really big line. I'm very excited for these metallic palettes and even is that a neutral palette and the eye finishers? I'm gonna do my research tomorrow to see what I really want, but it looks like we have of course the master matte, which I'm gonna get, the metallic, which I'm gonna get, the master metals, I'm gonna get, um, I don't know a metal manipulator. Uh, I feel like I have mixing mediums. I might not need that unless I watch reviews and it's amazing. I don't know about these eyes prep and set, master secret glow, crystal. Ref There's a lot. I don't know if I can afford to get a lot from this guys. I'm sorry, but I am very much interested in these products and if they're really good and I don't get everything, I have some items to put on my Christmas list. Isn't it funny? I'm talking about Christmas and I'm wearing like the most summery makeup. I was playing with the Nomad Cosmetics Tokyo palette and I just came out with a summery look and I was like, okay. Righty ho, let's talk about the Wayne Goss pressed blushes. At this point, these have already been released. I ordered them this morning, but oh, I'm so excited for these. I, I really love the tips that he gave in his reveal video. He like gave the tip of something so like duh. He said, put the highlighter on first and then the blush on top to get a highlighted effect or like a glowy blush. And I was like, that's such a basic tip but I've never thought of it. I'm really excited for these. I only picked up two colors, the two lightest ones, and then my mom picked up Bright Poppy. Well, I ordered it for her, so I'll have three of the four to review for you guys because $45, I mean, at the end of the day, that's not cheap. I was hoping they would be like 35 or something. I don't know, but 45, I was like, okay. I can't buy the full set, so I only picked my top two, and then when my mom threw in that third color, I was like, okay, I can have a respectable review. So those are probably already up at this point too. I don't know the reviews of those, but I'm really, really excited about that. The Givenchy Beauty Holiday Collection. I purchased one of their holiday palettes last year that looked really good, and I did not like it. It seemed very cheap to me, not very well done, not good quality. I just, mm, I was really disappointed by that and I'm looking at this palette right here. It kind of looks like it would be the same deal with that one. So though I like the packaging of that star compact for the eyes, I mean that's a cool kind of smoky eye effect there but no I'm not gonna get that. I don't need it. Givenchy honestly really isn't 
on my radar. I rarely talk about them on my channel, so that's definitely a pass for me. Five days ago, ColourPop launched this Sandstone collection, which looks very, very pretty, but I don't know. ColourPop, I feel like in the last week has revealed three collections. This one, it's very pretty, but it's not anything I personally don't already own from ColourPop. So this one is definitely a pass for me, but I'm not going to say it's bad. What I love about ColourPop is I feel like it's okay for them to come out with a billion and one launches because they keep their prices affordable. They're made in the USA. I just really love everything about the brand and the fact that they launch so much. Like they were the first brand to do it. Everybody else is copycats. Like ColourPop was just doing them and everybody's started pushing out a ton of product after them. So ColourPop's the only brand that's allowed to do that in my opinion, but no, I'm passing on this collection. I just have everything. Speaking of, here's the other collection. This is the Hocus Pocus collection. I've never been a Hocus Pocus fan in general, you guys. I'm not a Halloween person. I really like fall. I like the pumpkin, warm, cozy side of fall. I've never liked Halloween, I don't know. And this collection does not really appeal to me if I'm being honest, the colors. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I just said the colors. I haven't even seen the inside, but I'm not interested in that. Oh, here are the colors. That palette actually, very pretty colors. Great for fall. Don't need it. Don't really want it. If it was not Hocus Pocus and it was, I don't know, a childhood thing that I grew up with that I liked more, I probably would consider that palette because it is very pretty, but I can pass and not feel bad on that one. All right, and now we have the Guerlain Holiday Collection. Looks very, very beautiful. I like don't dip into Guerlain on my collection, but I do like their meteorites just because my mom has always used them growing up. So they just, they remind me of my mom. <laughs> I don't, they remind me of my childhood, I guess is a better way of putting it. And I just love the smell of them. I mean, I'm not gonna get it, but I don't know. They give me good memories. I guess that's a bronzer down in the bottom left corner. I'm not really sure. A terracotta pressed powder. That looks really gorgeous. I won't get it, but it's something that I definitely would double take. Maybe if I was feeling a little spendy walking through my department store, I probably would treat myself to the terracotta powder and the meteorites because I do that sometimes. Sometimes. I'll just go to not anymore but a month ago I'll go to like the department store and then I'll just feel bougie and purchase items from like Chanel and then I feel bad when I get home because I spent too much money I'm really really excited about this and not just because it's with another creator but Butte Bean and Shroud Cosmetics are releasing this gorgeous palette and it is perfect it's a Halloween themed palette but in Butte Bean's video she even said she never intentionally envisioned it as a Halloween palette but I mean it's perfect for it it's a Halloween palette it is the perfect colors but it doesn't make me feel like ooh, I would never like that like I love the colors in here greens and purples I really think she curated such a good palette that I'm so excited for and I feel like it's different I don't think there's a palette on the market that looks like this and I've never tried shroud cosmetics but I'm gonna pick this palette up I'm really really excited for it this is a palette that I saw and I instantly felt inspired so if you haven't checked her channel out I love her makeup tutorials oh my gosh she inspires me she's so good good at makeup you guys for those of you who say you like my makeup looks no go look at hers she is incredible she inspires me so I will definitely be purchasing that I mean okay so I just reached the top so I hit the major releases that I felt like talking about but let me scroll down and see if there's anything else that maybe you guys wanted to hear me mention by the way that new Chanel collection I just passed a photo <sighs> so gorgeous if i saw it in store if i still went to the mall i would definitely purchase things from that chanel collection so sometimes it being online is good because sometimes certain items just have an in-store factor that make it look so much better and i feel like chanel is one of those brands online i'm always like meh and then i go into the store i'm like ooh, i'm buying chanel i'm bougie i never buy chanel online <laughs> so i mean this is from almost last month at this point but um <laughs> Talking not very good about Too Faced is my favorite hobby. I'm totally a hypocrite though, because I still buy things from Too Faced, so don't get it twisted. But I feel bad because this is a collaboration. Not my taste, not my style. And I'm not even gonna act like like the Too Faced stuff isn't adorable. Like if I was a teenager still, I would have died for this set. Puppies and foxes? Are these puppies or foxes? I don't, oh, these are foxes foxy neutrals these are adorable will i purchase it no but would i be mad if somebody bought them for me no 
but I mean, I don't recommend buying these. Now we're just talking the talk right now because I'm like a month behind, but these are things I wanted to talk about. This KVD Vegan Beauty Palette. What y'all think of this? Cause she cute. She cute y'all. Mm, <laughs> I don't think I'd end up purchasing it, but that definitely made me turn my head. And then we have the Dior Golden Knights Holiday Collection. I really like Dior. I do feature Dior on my channel pretty frequently. I love the look at that blush. So pretty. I think I would pass on all the eyeshadow palettes. Those don't seem like something that I would like, but I really do like the look of that blush. But if the blush is the only thing that's really interesting me from that collection, then I'll probably pass because I won't be purchasing the majority of the collection, which makes me sound like a crazy person, but all or nothing, baby. Uh, okay. I think we've we've done enough so I'm gonna end this here and call it a day so that is all I have for today's video thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and talking makeup it's been so long since I filmed a video like this honestly it felt so good to just sit and talk about what's coming out and you guys know things for holiday makeup i could talk about forever i love talking holiday makeup i don't know why but that is all i have for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you aren't subscribed to my channel already i would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and i'll see you guys in the next one bye have a good one